weapon payload. The Gripen E, equipped with up to 10 hard points, can carry a 14,000 pound payload with a variety of weapons such as GBU laser guided bombs, Iris T short range missiles, MBDA Meteor beyond visual range missiles, and AIM 9. Sidewinder air to air missiles, missiles air to ground AGGM 65 Maverick, RBS 15 anti ship missile, and more. These weapons work together to ensure fighters can survive and have the edge in battle against any target, be it another fighter in space, a tank on land, a ship at sea, or a superhero trying to make a name for themselves. Air forces purchasing the Gripen E have the option to purchase the weapon from any manufacturer they are interested in. While the Gripen E is certainly capable of being deployed thanks to its light and sturdy airframe, it is also armed with an electronic warfare suite consisting of a 360-degree spherical missile approach a warning system capable of actively jamming radars, or working in passive mode to avoid being detected depending on, on how much stealth is required for the mission. And that's still not all. As new technology develops, the Gripen E can be further upgraded to use it. This is the benefit of a dynamic, adaptive and evolving system. As a result, the Gripen, which was created in the 1990s as a fourth-generation fighter, has evolved to compete with fifth-generation stealth fighters by becoming a stealth aircraft itself, and evolved further to effectively protect Sweden without the country building a sixth-generation fighter. All this evolution of the fighter has turned it into a monster in the sky, almost impossible to beat in a dogfight. Over the years serving in Sweden, Brazil, South Africa and Hungary, the Gripen has been used against some of its fiercest rivals. Today it is a sixth-generation fighter. Yesterday it was the F-35 Lightning II fifth-generation fighter and before that it was a fifth-generation fighter F-35 Lightning II. Is the F-35 Lightning 2.16 Fighting Falcon and others. In all these competitions the Gripen was impressively able to survive and survive, both figuratively and in real dogfights. Red Flag is a 2E advanced air combat exercise held several times a year by the United States Air Force. This exercise offers realistic air combat training for U.S. and Allied military pilots. It is one of the most intense exercises. Practice in the 2006 Red Flag Series The first time the Gripen took part in an exercise, a star was born, in the face of reduced airborne early warning control and reduced ground control inherent to the exercise. It was the Gripen that connected their liaison systems and performed these roles with each other. This gives each Gripen the necessary battlefield awareness and helps them avoid all ground defenses. The result was 10 kills for Gripen on the first day, including a typhoon at the end. From this exercise, not a single Gripen was lost in an air encounter or failed to fulfill its mission objectives. In fact one Gripen was able to down 5 F-16s during close air combat. The first sign that the Gripen might require a greater challenge, during another combat exercise with the Royal Norwegian Air Force, Three Swedish Gripens engaged five Royal Norwegian Air Force F-16s in three combat rounds. In each round a fifth F-15 was shot down while only one Gripen was knocked out and it happened in the third round. When Jin's loyal arrows in Sweden fought the older brother of the F-15 F-16, three American Air Force F-15s were intercepted by Gripens who acted as aggressors. As a result two F-15s were shot down and one managed to escape. In F-1F's defense despite being in the backyard of a Jin factory, despite Jin being nimble and invincible in the sky, the fighter is still capable of being one of the most available fighters in the world. Once a plane lands to refuel or rearm, it is almost always ready to take off back into space, while many other fighters need to be held back for evaluation repeat. Are waiting for the bad weather to pass, with all the enhanced capabilities of the Gripen, Saab is trying hard to export the Gripen to the Air Force wants to dominate the skies in an export market currently dominated by the F-35. To win customers, Gripen must make a statement and its opportunity to do so has finally arrived. As Ukraine calls in fighter jets to repel the Russian invasion now, the question for Gripen is what what followed. Ukraine may be in the midst of the largest war in the country's history. Fighter jets have always been in demand. This request was focused on the F-16 but was open to Gripen. More directly Ukraine requested an operational evaluation of Swedish fighters. 
In response, the Swedish government officially announced plans to provide training to pilots and ground personnel from Ukraine in such operations and the maintenance of Gripen fighter aircraft. But with the release of the new, Tucker Carlson's interview with Putin explains Russia's side of the war. This plan could change greatly. Sweden has no history of taking sides. One reason not to take sides is enough to not take sides. And Gripen. While it's helpful for Ukraine to remain operational, the Gripen J 39, a fourth generation, fifth generation, and now sixth generation competitor, continues to be in the news for the right reasons. He has protected nations for nearly three decades and will continue to do so for decades to come. In honor of this perfect warrior, subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you for watching.